Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another Make Shop Pro video. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a photo into a coloring page. Now I do want to preface uh, this whole video with the fact that uh, no approach that I've seen um, is going to be able to you know, automatically do this and work well for every image. There's definitely going to be some images where any approach is going to not produce as good of effect as others, right? And uh, to clarify, I think when you're considering image selection for converting to a coloring page, most of the techniques, if not all, are always going to rely on finding edges and, and being able to exclusively find the edges that you would want to have as the outlines for your coloring page. So in that case, you want to look at images that have clear edges where you want those edges to be in your coloring page, but don't have things like textures and gradients, right? Those, those aspects are sort of like the enemy of creating coloring pages. So we'll see how the approach we're going to take tries to address some of those, but if you have an image that has a ton of texture, the outcome is still going to be something that's going to take a lot of post-processing to get likely what you're going for. And before we jump into it, if it feels like trying to follow my video is a little bit difficult because I'm moving too fast, just remember there is an option in YouTube to be able to change the playback speed and you can set it to a slower speed. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna do this demonstration of this technique with this picture of this weaver. And the first step in the process is to go to effects, edge effects, and high pass and when we do this i i do a fairly low number uh, like four or three something like that but what you're really trying to go for is to make sure that what has happened is all of the edges right are kind of highlighted and a lot of the you know middle detail like even like all this background stuff anything that's like blurry all that stuff kind of gets washed out so Play with the numbers, see what produces what you're, you know, looking for. But but the goal here is being able to enhance just the edges you want to be showing as part of your coloring page edges. So we hit OK. Next, what we want to do to try to reduce some of that texture or some of the gradient detail is we're going to go to adjust, add, remove noise and edge preserving smooth. And this is one of those cases where, uh, depending on the resolution of your image or how much texture it has, um, I'm, in my example, just going to crank it up all the way. You can see a lot of these little, you know, hair parts of the feather detail gets kind of smoothed out. And that's good for me in terms of what I'm wanting this coloring page to look like in the end. So hit OK. And then next what we want to do is increase the contrast of this but in a very uniform kind of way because fin the final aspect of this or the final adjustment is going to be with the threshold tool and we want to be able to give ourselves as much latitude with that slider as possible to find the right balance of lines versus detail inside the lines. So to increase the contrast what we're going to do is go to adjust brightness contrast histogram equalize so what that's going to do is just stretch that very gray image to the full ends of the brightest whites and the darkest blacks and then you can really start to see how the contrast along the points where we would want edges to be really stand out at this point point. and then so then the final uh, command or effect we're going to apply is adjust brightness contrast and threshold and it's at this level that you're going to want to play with this slider to see, you know, how much how much detail gets kind of washed out versus how much remains and and uh, you know, s settle on that and recognizing that you're, you're probably not going to find a value that is going to get you exactly what you want. There's going to be probably at least some manner of post processing that's going to be involved even after this final step. So I'm pretty happy with that. Hit OK. So then at this stage, um, we're, we're pretty much there. Uh, there's definitely some manual things that can follow uh, to clean up. For example, I can just take my regular paintbrush, select white, in this case, since I'm doing a white coloring page, and then just paint over, probably a stronger hardness, 
and just paint over any parts that I feel like are not contributing to what I want to be part of my coloring page. If you're having issues with like a lot of specks in the middle of your image and that's the problem that you're having, you can go to adjust, add remove noise, and do salt and pepper filter. And I, I think that for me, this is kind of hit and miss um, in how well it works. Uh, you you want to set your spec size to match like how big the blobs are. And I found that by making sure that aggressive action is checked and include all lower spec sizes that that produces the most effective result, but definitely something that you can try to play with. But even if it doesn't get everything, you can you can always use your paintbrush to clean up, you know, parts parts in the middle that aren't quite what what you want it to be. Another thing that's worth noting is if the resulting lines are a little bit too thick, you can always go to effects, edge effects, and dilate, and that will have the effect of reducing sort of the thickness of these lines. By contrast, if you feel like the lines aren't thick enough, you can always go to effects, edge effects, and erode and that's going to have the effect of increasing you know sort of the thickness of the edges that it found and um, it's definitely going to be the case where you may want some parts to be thicker and others to be less thick so then those cases you can always just duplicate and say and apply one of those effects and then just you know erase erase in the areas where you want it to be thicker. So then you have that ability to kind of customize that level of balance. And that's basically it for the technique that I'm wanting to demonstrate. Like I said, um, I've tested this on a number of different images. Um, I'll show some of them here. And what you'll just see is that uh, it definitely works better for some images uh, than others and usually the ones that it doesn't seem to create nice outlines for are ones that have a lot of texture, have a lot of detail, or have a lot of gradient to it and and it still produces like a coloring page kind of look it's just there's usually a lot more detail than I'd like and there's going to be a lot more of that post-processing that's necessary to get a desired image. So for completeness, another approach that you can take that is much more manual is to add a new layer that's like a, you know, a plain white raster layer and you can decrease its opacity so that you can actually see the original image. And um, you can either uh, just paint straight with a regular paintbrush. You know, if you if you have a pretty steady hand and can do that kind of stuff obviously I can't um, but uh, or you could also use the pen tool right and maybe use a bezier curve uh, select a reasonable width and then just kind of start you know drawing your lines where you want those lines to be I'll probably turn off the fill because that's not what we're going for here and then you know do do something like that It'll definitely give you full control of exactly how the lines go. And you don't have to worry about some algorithm adding a bunch of texture that you don't want, but it is definitely a much more manual process. So as a final note, I just wanted to mention that there is another tool, Filter Forge, um, um, is not free, but, but it also has some filters in it that have a very similar effect and can produce color coloring page type effects. The ones that I found that seem to work pretty well for this activity are the Sobel Edge Detector and also the Comic Book uh, Filter. So, so these obviously have very different effects on the image, but they definitely produce sort of that coloring page or you know very distinct lines kind of effect that you could then you know massage or play with in paint shop pro to get the final look so that's it for me if you have any questions or would like to suggest content feel free to leave a comment 
If you'd like to get updates of new content, click the subscribe button on the screen. And if you'd like to support me and the channel, check out my Patreon page, which is on the link shown, and I'll see you guys next time.